you know, and um, you, you, you know, you look at the Dodgers when they decided to let go of Cody Bellinger, it's like, Hey, he's a really, really good outfielder and he's a former MVP, believe it or not, but my man cannot hit. Sounds and so, you know right. what, you know what, let somebody else go pay him $17 million. Let, <laughs> let's see if we can't find somebody that we can pay $3 million to that can be just as good defensively and be that bad offensively. Like, why are we spending so much money on this guy? I'm not saying Trent Grisham is part of the $100 million club of the Padres, but if they're upgrading catcher, then they might want to consider upgrading that outfield position. Seriously. It can't hurt. Seriously. It can't hurt. But, I mean, you think about this Gary Sanchez. When, when the Padres claimed him, we, we were like, okay, don't, don't really know a whole lot about Gary Sanchez's career. Had to Other go than back he was and look good. it up. He was good before, then he started sucking. Yes, yeah, so we, we went back and we looked it all up. You know, we were looking at his career and his stats and so on. And, Browner, your point I thought was right at the time. Well, I mean, my goodness. I mean, he's not really making a contribution to the Mets. He's an available guy. I mean, what are we really expecting to get here? Right. And, Alex, uh, let's go through what Gary Sanchez has done for the catcher position with the Padres. Go for it. Yeah, in nine games so far with the Padres, he's hitting 310. Four home runs, nine RBIs, 375 on base percentage, a uh, very high OPS of 1.168. When he starts at catcher, because one of the games he just was, um, I believe he was a DH. Mm -hmm. uh, they are five and three. Mm -hmm. Five and three. How about that? This guy, Gary Sanchez, has made a crazy impact so far. I mean, I mean the guy he, has had power. You know, even when he was bad, you know, he, he still had power. You know, he hit 20, 33, 18, 34, 10, 23, 16 home runs. The guy can hit home runs. Mm -hmm. It's just, what else can he provide? He's always had, he's had a very low batting average for like the last five seasons. And I mean, sometimes a change of scenery is all you need, man. I don't know. And, or a shot. You know, there's not a lot of, there wasn't, it wasn't like there was a lot of pressure here. You know, he came in here to, to, to replace a guy that was hitting 130. Yeah. Right. And, and that's right. The expectations for Gary Sanchez were not real high. No. You know? And what he's done so far, if look at the beginning of the year, who's the MVP of the Padres? I mean, going in, oh, well, my goodness, Juan Soto is the favorite to win the MVP in the National League. Yeah. And, you know, Tatis is coming back and Machado in the first month of the season, you would have said Bogarts. Never would you have come up with the name Gary Sanchez. He wasn't no. on the roster. But even now, no. I mean, listen, the guy has, he is, he is definitely uh, added tremendous value, very inexpensively. So yep. good for him, man. Yeah, good I mean, dude, it's and it, it I I I joke that the MVP, but really look, like look what he's done. Look, look at what he's done just offensively. And then look at how the praise that Blake Snell threw on him uh you know two days ago about how he catches his games. Like he's been good defensively. He threw a guy out at second base. What? I didn't see, yeah, what a guy in the was loss, thrown out in the loss to the Mariners on on Tuesday or whatever day that that, that game started. He threw someone out trying to steal a base. Wow, that I didn't know that done. was. I didn't know that was allowed here. Yeah, I did not know that was allowed. It couldn't yeah. be done, man. They right. said it couldn't be done. Yeah, I thought it was against the rules here. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. that is great, Alex. You, you who else hit and throw somebody out? Uh uh. Wait uh -uh. a minute now. Drug wait, wait, test wait. him. Well, let me uh... <laughs> test him for test him for wing worms. <laughs> Wingworms, uh, wingworms. That's right, and that's mm -hmm. why you got to take that special rub on the back of your neck. That's right, wingworms. That's right. Mm -hmm. The cream on there. Uh, who should? Who else should we be hearing from as we uh, move into our day here Thursday? The Padres are off. They're in Colorado for three the next three days. If you're looking for a place to kind of get right, put some wins together, <laughs> and uh, and you know maybe consistently hit, Colorado would be a nice place to do it. 